Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we're going to be talking about the Sean W video where he talks about the future. He basically gives us some hopium um, around Halo Infinite, some, you know, leaks and speculations and rumors and stuff, and I've seen a couple people make videos in response to that, and uh, a lot of the community feels, you know, I guess separated on this because they're like, oh, I don't want you to give false hope and stuff. And then the other side's like, oh my gosh, we have something to look forward to. So, but before we get into that, you guys have been killing it lately on the channel. We have gotten so many new subs. So if you haven't already subbed to the channel and you love Halo and you want to stay up to date, go ahead and hit that sub button. We are so close to 9K and then it's the big 10K after that. And that would be fantastic. So thank you all again for all the help. All the love. If you want to throw a like on this video to help it get into the algorithm, leave a comment down below. All that cool stuff, and let's get into the video. So basically, Sean starts off the video saying if he didn't know about this stuff, that he would basically be losing hope. So if he was just an average, you know, video game enjoyer playing Halo, or, you know, somebody that is a Halo fan and, you know, isn't super into the game right now for, you know, whatever reason, then he would be like, oh man, I, I don't really think that there's anything to look forward to. But because he knows about um, some of this stuff, it's, it's given him a little bit of hopium. And I kind of want to spread that too. I will say take everything with a grain of salt. You know, we just don't know what's happening within 343 right now. And that kind of stinks because we would love to know everything. You know, you want that direct line of communication, but... It's just not like that. There's a lot of reasons why I, uh, people get mad at, you know, video game companies and stuff. But when there are people that are like stakeholders and money's involved and you can't just say whatever you want um, and you can't give promises and dates. So that's where the problem arises. But we're just going to touch on some points. First up is the campaign DLC. And that looks to be a whole new story, a whole new setting. It looks to be very, very, very far off. Sean said that after... 2024 which is insane to think about i know we're in the middle of 2022 and it stinks that it took so long for halo infinite to actually come out but again i i would like them to take their time and make a good campaign a good story but it just stinks i don't know how it's going to tie into halo infinite if at all he said it's going to be a new story so i would love to see a spinoff game in between that time but i don't know if we're ever going to get that i feel like the halo infinite multiplayer story is going to be kind of the main focus and i hope that they flesh it out more other than just two cutscenes out of the season so we'll see what happens but joe staten is apparently completely in charge of this so that to me already is like a huge thumbs up a huge ray of positivity i can't wait i actually am a big joe stain fan i would actually love to see what his original destiny story was like um and kind of why it led to his departure at bungie so i'm excited i like joe um and i think that it'll be good for the i guess the story side of things that he's in charge of it he then goes to talk about the BR that Certain Affinity is working on, and something cool is that the map will have at least two OG Halo maps in it, um, Halo 2 and Halo 3 it looks like, and the BR looks to be set on a ring, a Halo ring, due to these maps being incorporated, there will be loot boxes with, um, you know, tiered weapons in it, not loot boxes for like RNG stuff, cosmetics in the game, but loot boxes within that game mode for weapons. And fall of 2023 is the target date, so that is not season 3 like I have been speculating. But he says that that's the, the target date and that it can absolutely release before that. So hopefully, fingers crossed that they're ahead of schedule because that's a long time um, between the BR and campaign DLC. So ooh, that stinks. He goes on to talk about Forge and some controversy that it may cause. 3 for 3 is going to rely heavily on, you know player created content um and i think that that's fine i think that you know as long as they're incorporating that content not just in custom games um because some people just don't click on that stuff you know they just want to play the set developer playlist so if there are good maps and stuff throw it in those playlists i think that that's um a good way to shake it up especially if we're only getting you know two dev maps a season but he says that there might be some controversy with one of the things that 343 has planned if it doesn't go the right way and that's all he says he doesn't really you know talk about what it is some people have speculated that you would have to pay for forge pallets i'm gonna go ahead and say that i don't think that's true 
He then talks about some of the future season content. In Season 6, we're going to get a non-Spartan armor core, which is kind of cool, but it's not an elite. <laughs> Seethe elite players. Season 5 will have two things returned from classic games. He doesn't really say what that is. Season 4 will have infection, so that kind of stinks because that's next year. Uh, and I was speculating that hopefully they would bring infection back for Halloween. And it's in the game files and stuff. And I've had people tell me that the game mode is pretty much done um so i don't know what's happening there season three will have a gun a new gun new weapon that the community has wanted i don't know if that's like the beam rifle or what and then he also says that season three could huge quotations there could be six months again and i hope not i've kind of asked around and it definitely seems half and half um i've had people say it's going to be three months and i've had people say six months so i don't know i feel like as long if it's six months as long as there's more content um then I guess I don't care as much. I would like for it to be three months, but I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. He says that corporate gridlock and 343 trying to do too many things at once is causing a lot of these timing issues, and I believe that. I do think that a lot of the team has just been put on multiplayer to kind of flesh it out, fix all the bugs and stuff, and bring it up to par instead of working on campaign stuff, which kind of stinks too. Um, and again... I don't know how much of 343, you know, their manpower is involved with the BR. I can't imagine that it's a huge percentage. Um, so I know a lot of people are like, 343 is going to neglect the game if the BR is good. Well, certain affinity is working on it, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I it's, it's half and half, I feel like. Half and half. Let me know in the comments down below how you all feel. If you're excited or if you're even playing the game anymore. I love all of you, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.